Justice David Maraga yesterday presented the first judicial performance report since he took over the helm of the judiciary one year ago. In a report he termed as a progress towards a more effective judicial arm, Maraga promised radical change at the third arm of government. Even as political undertones following the controversial presidential election nullification came bear in the event attended by the head of state. I, David Kenani Maraga. He would take up his position at the helm of the country's judiciary in October last year, sweeping into power for a man hailed for his integrity and tough stance against corruption. Move. Now, more than a year later, the president of the judiciary would launch the annual report meant to highlight the gains made and the challenges met during his first year in office. And while Maraga promised to reduce the backlog of cases at the judiciary, the numbers may not be in his favor. By the end of the financial year 2016-2017, there were 533,350 pending cases in the judiciary, representing a 7% increase from the 499,341 cases registered the previous year. Of the over 500,000 cases still in court, 315,378 are categorized as backlog. Due to inefficiencies in our judiciary in the past and the very litigious nature of our population, our courts are still grappling with high numbers of cases that should have uh, been concluded long ago. Maraga's judiciary has, however, seen a significant increase in the establishment of courts throughout the country. Since he took office, there have been 19 new high court branches established throughout the country. Maraga says this number could have been higher had the judiciary received more funding. In this respect, Your, Your Excellency, we will be knocking your door and going to the, uh, our uh, Parliament to seek for funds to be able to uh, do constructions around the country. But perhaps the most trying time for the president of the judiciary came during and after the nullification of the presidential election of August the 8th. <laughs> Back then, an irate head of state would not hide his contempt for the man he says subverted the will of the Kenyan people. After the mace has been lowered. But all that is now water under the bridge for two men who had two of the three arms of government. Or is it? You also ought to accept that criticism comes with the office. Whether in the media, in journals, in public baraza, social media, and indeed even from me. Kenyans will say what they have to say. And most of the time, it will not be flattering. However, that is democracy. And as I have learned anyway, that one or two things in response. First, is simply just grow a thick skin, CJ. And secondly, consult. Talk to people within the law, but also hear the other side. When the government has a good case, there's no reason whatsoever why we should not rule in its favor. But when the government has a bad case, or it bungles in its prosecution or defense, we should not be expected to rule in, in its favor. For a judiciary which received less than 1% of the national budget, Maraga promises radical change despite the shallow pockets. Key on his agenda as he marks more than one year in office will be to reduce to zero the number of cases older than five years by the end of his first term in office, which concludes in the year 2021. Timothy Otieno, 
KTN News.